Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about message authentication code based on S function HMAC. Topic of network security. So first of all discuss about HMAC concept. HMAC stands for has message authentication code. It is a specific technique for calculating a message authentication code MAC involving a combination of cryptographic hash function and a security key cryptography. Now see one of the concept of the HMAC. This is the basic block diagram of the HMAC concept. Here original message is here. Now apply MD5 or SHA1 uh, one of the hash function algorithm and calculate MD or we can say this is hash value. Hash value is encrypted using the key K and generate final output MAC. In HMAC concept we can say we achieve integrity as well as authentication. Next. Now HMAC structure and implementation. First of all uh, I will see one figure HMAC structure. So this is the HMAC structure. In HMAC structure you can see uh, this is the secret key K or uh, it is calculated with the one fixed or constant value then hash function is applied again secret value is calculated and then again hash function is applied and finally make is generated from the given message so now it is divided into two part during the implementation so one is pre-computed part so this is the pre-computed part and this is computed per message during the hash function execution so these all are the notation of the previous both diagrams. Now we can describe the algorithms as follow. So there are mainly seven steps of the HMAC is over here. And this is the structure of HMAC. We will discuss all these steps one by one. So first step. As per the first step of the HMAC algorithm, make the length of K plus equal to B. Here K is the secret value. We can say K is the secret value. If length of the K is it may be not equal to B or it may be equal to B or greater than B. Here uh, B means uh, the original message it is divided into a small size a small fixed size of block. Here fixed size value is B and we have to uh, this K is equal to B. So first possibility is, is uh, K less than B. So add 0 bit and k equal to b and then for the process if second possibility is k is equal to b so we do not take any action and further proceed to the step number two if length k greater than b we have to reduce some bits and k equal to b and now for the proceed to the step number two now step number two of the algorithm step number two is x or k plus with i pair to produce si here k is one secret value uh, which is selected by the user here ipad is the fixed value and si is calculated from the k and ipad so here si is first secret value now in this figure you can see this is the k plus ipad xor and si so value of ipad is 36 in hexadecimal it is fixed value as per the algorithm so our equation is k plus xor ipad is equal to si Next step number three. Now secret value SI is appended to the original message M. Now in this figure we can say this is the structure of HMAC. Uh, original message is divided into fixed size of block and uh, this fixed size of block appended with uh, secret value SI. So take the original message M and simply append it to the end of SI. Now see in this figure. So our equation is k plus x or i paired appended with the original message m or we also can write si appended m step number four apply message digest algorithm so here apply first hash function so the selected message digest algorithm it may be md5 or sha1 applied to the output of the step number three and we get the hash value so our equation is hash value of k plus x or i pad appended with message m also we can write hash function of si appended m next step step number five again second secret value is calculated x or k plus with o pad to produce so here k plus is as per the first step and so is calculated from the x or 
k plus and opet so here value of opet is 5c in hexadecimal it is already given in uh, algorithm so here equation is k plus x or opet is equal to s0 it is very simple equation now step number six in step number six calculated hash function and s0 is appended so appended the method digest calculated in step number four to the end of the s0 now see in this figure so our equation is s0 appended with the hash function which is calculated from the secret value i and appended message m step number seven step number seven is again apply hash function or we can say uh, again apply message digest algorithm so in algorithm s0 and h is the input or we can say this both are appended and then input is given as the message digest algorithm and finally calculate the mech so we can say the selected message digest algorithm uh, it may be md5 or sh1 is applied to the output of the step number six and finally we got mech we can say message authentication code so our final equation is h mech of km is equal to hash function of the first uh, second secret value k plus x or o paid appended with the hash function of k plus x or i paid appended with the m so finally we get the mech from the original message m with the help of hash function and secret value now discuss about advantage and disadvantages of the hash function first hmac is faster to compute and very uh, verify digital signatures because they use a hash function rather than public key second hmac can be used in some cases where the use of public key cryptography is prohibited third one HMAC are much smaller than digital signatures so we can easily uh, calculate and then send or we can say append with the message first disadvantage key exchange is the main issue so can't prevent against replay of message attack or we can say man in the middle attack second one HMAC cannot be used if the number of receiver is greater than one it means if multiple parties share the same secret key so how does a receiver know that the message was prepared and sent by the sender thank you for watching this video please like share and comment subscribe my channel on youtube chirag balodia follow my blog edu resources thank you